it is so windy today the windows are rattling so if you hear a well it's not that sound but like you know that kind of window rattling with the wind then um yeah it's just the window just in case you could hear that hello my name is kate and here is a car boot sale haul i think these are my favorite hauls because they're just you just never know what you can find and then um if you watch any of my videos i forget what i've bought i put it away to do a video and then when i get it back out again it's all exciting so i'm like oh stuff um bargain so i'm going to show you everything i have found and this car boot sale when did i go to this one it wasn't a Sunday because that was the car boot sale with Mr. Carrington, which was so good. And we did a vlog. So if you want to watch us going around the car boot sale, um, yeah, we had so much fun. And then we went to my dad's house and we gave each other some presents and we had such a nice day. So I'll link that video below. Um, and you must go follow Mr. Carrington, Ewan, that's his name. Um, he's just so lovely, very funny. Yeah, we had, we had a great day. So that's that. And that haul will be on next week. So you've got to wait a week for that. I am sorry. Uh, I hope that's okay. But I'll show you all of these things that I found at Judy's car boot sale in Great Yarmouth in Norfolk and when did I go to this one? I think it was like not Sunday, could have been the Sunday before or the Sunday before that, I can't really remember but it wasn't that long ago but it was long enough that I've kind of almost forgotten the items that I found but I didn't spend very much but yeah I found some lovely things and if you follow me on Instagram you have already seen because when I get back from a car boot sale I just take a picture of a few things and I pop them on Instagram you know just to like oh this is what I found and then I do like a proper haul. Um, I'm Kate McCabe on Instagram, K-A-T-E-M-C-C-A-B-E-Y, so do come and say hello and follow me on there. Right, so before I show you the haul, which is just here, which I'm pointing, it's in a little stash, I'm gonna do my mug of the day, which I always do at the start of the video. So I say the start, I've probably talked for a couple of minutes already. How lovely is this mug? Just look at the beautiful, beautiful mug. This, oh! Oh, I just built it on myself, it's always good. If you know where this mug is from, let me know. I just love it. Oh, what was that? Something out there made a big bang. Um, yeah, so this was 50p uh, from the car boot sale on Sunday with Mr. Carrington and I just spotted it at the corner of my eye and I was like, oh, how much? And she said 50p, I was like, yeah, I'm having that, I'm having that. You know, and you're just so excited. So I put this away um, in my bags and I'm getting it out now. I've transported you safely home. So that is my coffee. I'm so glad I found you, I feel like we were always meant to be together and, you know, I, I could have missed you, but I didn't. I spotted you and I claimed you as my own. So welcome to the collection of the mugs of the Kate McCabe's mugs of the day. I love my mugs. I don't think I spent very much money. I want to make a guess at about 18 quid, but we will see. There was only one expensive purchase. Well, I say expensive, it was four quid which at a car boot sale is a lot of money, but it's not like in real life. But um, I will show you that probably at the end because I think it's one of my favorite things. I just, I love it. So all right, I'm gonna start off with this. Um, it is a cutlery, no, like washing up thing, isn't it? And it's copper. So when we do our kitchen, we're gonna do like copper, we're gonna do gray, like dark gray and marble. And this will obviously go very nicely because even though you have a posh kitchen, still got to do your own washing up. Um, I don't like our kitchen at the minute, which is why I don't really show it because I don't like our tiles and worktop, um, but we're keeping the units, we've just got to paint them. So I'll have to watch the Mr. Carrington video on how to paint your cupboards. He did a video, so I'll have to go and watch that. And he recommended some Wilco's paint, Wilkinson's cabinet paint. Apparently that's very good. Right, that's what he was saying the other day. So this was a pound and I will keep this um, for when we've done our kitchen, which probably, it's gonna take ages, it's not gonna be done before Christmas, but eventually it will be done. And then I'll have a nice, oh, sorry to hit you. Um, I'll have a nice kitchen and I'll be able to like film in there. You know, like normal people do and they film in their kitchen. I love finding Kath Kidston items at charity shops and car boot sales. Um, so I was really happy when I saw this um, little thing, or it's actually two things, a set of two popper trays a medium and a large so you can put I think you can put like napkins and stuff in these it's just pretty or I could put makeup in it or use it in the bathroom it's brand new it's never been used all oh, 12 pounds originally I didn't even didn't notice that um just I love this little pattern I love all Kath Kidson patterns they're lovely so yeah I do love finding it it was really cheap this cost me one pound and this was from a lovely lady who watches these videos called Marie hello Marie so I bought a couple of things um from her this time and I don't know if you watched a video from a while ago a different car boot sale video where I bought a huge bag of stuff from Marie and she let me have the whole thing for two quid and like there was it was just full of like amazing items if you didn't watch that um I'll link it below so I've got Mr Carrington below 
the car boot sale vlog, his cabinet video, the other car boots. So there'll be a few down there if you fancy watching them, if you've got time. Um, so thank you, Marie, that was a pound. Yeah, and the bag I got from her before, there was like amazing items in. And then from Marie as well, I got this Emma Bridgewater, um, was it like a planner? I do love a planner. If you've watched um, some of my other videos, then you'll see I like I like planners. I like to plan. Um, this is an Emma Bridgewater one. Uh, so yes, it's a very good one. And yeah, I just love it. So I might keep this for my kitchen when it's all nice. I probably won't actually, I'll probably just start using it. Um, it's just, yeah, really pretty. And I do love a list and it's even got like days of the week list there. So very pretty. Thank you, Marie, for letting me having more bargains. And this time they're what, like all brand new. So thank you very much. Another Kath Kidston item, which you might have spotted in like the thumbnail of the video is this. I think it's, is it a sewing pencil? No, not a sewing pencil case, but is this for sewing? Um, I don't sew, but um, it's Kath Kidston, she's got to get it anyway. But I could probably put makeup in here or use it for pencils or art. You could put like, if you're an artist, you could put all your stuff in here. So I'll probably, I don't know what I'll use this for, but I will use it. I love this pattern. I've got some mugs in this pattern. I don't know what it's called. Can you hear the windows then? Boom, boom. That's the noise. Like a heartbeat noise, isn't it? It's so windy. I think it's windy everywhere, but yeah. Great Yarmouth is very windy because we're by the sea. It's always windy here. This was only 50p, so I felt like I had to get it. You would have got it, wouldn't you, for 50p? It's nice. It needs a little bit of a clean, though, um, so I will do that um, later or tomorrow. I'll just give it a little wipe with a wipe. I like a wipe. And just in case you were wondering, my top is from Matalan. It's like a little t-shirt. And I got it, um, I think, kind of February, March time when it was just, you know, when it was going from like winter to spring. So in case anyone asks, um, yeah, it's from Matalan. Love the little pom-poms and the little pocket it's got here. Okay, so I found Toby some clothes. They had, um, well, this stall had a whole load. It was all three for a pound. A lot of them are too small, but I found some really lovely items. And here is a little shirt, a little leaf print shirt. So I'm gonna keep that for next summer. Hopefully he'll like it next summer. It's so cute. I'm not sure where it's from. It's really, really nice. Let me see if I can, there's like a next one, but it might not be. Why are you going to tell me? M&S, M&S little shirt. I don't think I've ever bought kids clothes at M&S, but I find some secondhand which suits me. So that's really cute. Feels like brand new as well. It's lovely. Okay, and then I got him a little t-shirt, Lego. I keep finding Lego um, t-shirts and clothes for Toby. He does love his Lego. So here's a Lego, is it Star Wars? So the shirt, the Lego um, t-shirt, and then this brand new um, onesie. So where's this from originally? Matalan. Oh, Matalan, we, Matalan, did you know each other when you were in the shop? Oh no, they're in different shops. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Um, so this is a big onesie, it's huge, but Toby is a big six-year-old, my son, and it's got a cuffed bottom. So when it's a cuffed bottom, I said before, I love a cuffed bottom, it means, you know, they can wear it and they won't fall over. So yeah, cuffed bottom things last longer, don't they? If you get them in bigger sizes, it's 11 years old. Um, or age 11, it's not 11 years old, it's brand new, but it's aged 11, um, Ninja Turtles, which I thought he might be like, I've gone off Ninja Turtles, but he didn't, he was like, oh, that's really nice, mummy. He's so, he's not fussy at all when it comes to clothes and things, he's really happy, he's so sweet, I love him. So this will keep him nice and warm in the winter, and yeah, as I said, it's really, it's really big. So it will keep him warm for a few winters, hopefully. Mind you, it does grow very fast and it's just got, yeah, the zip that goes down there. And um, so that's for Toby, three for a pound, which I thought was just, you just can't beat that, can you, for kids stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have already seen um, these things that I'm about to show you. Three Prosecco candles which I have seen, they're from Home Bargains, and I've seen them, but I've never bought them. I've wanted to buy them, they smell really good, but then I've been like, ah, and then probably gone for a cheaper one. I'm not sure how much these are. If you can let me know how much they are brand new, that would be lovely, because I thought they were 3 dollars but somebody said that they were $1.99, um, so I'm not sure, but anyway, I got these three for two pounds. I think she wanted a pound each for them, which is fair enough, but I just asked her because I was in a haggling mood. And I said, would you take two pounds for the three? And I asked, like, did a nice smile. And um, she said, yes, that'd be fine. The thing with haggling is if you ask in a really nice way, um, 
most of the time they say yes. And on Sunday, I sort of, I cut down a few. I went for, you know, I, I haggled, but I went in quite low. And I just asked with a, a really nice smile. I was like, would you take, you know, and a lot of the time it did work. Um, so I think if you're off haggling, just be really nice and ask with a bit of charm. And I don't know, I think it really does work. Also, because I was with you and Mr. Carrington. So I think it helps when there's two of you, because normally I'm on my own. Um, which is fine. I like going to the car boots on my own, but I think it gives you a bit more confidence maybe when you're with someone else. So there's a good thing. If you're worried about going to a car boot sale and haggling, which I know a lot of people are, the minute you do it though, you get over yourself and like towards the end of the car boot sale um, and when you get home, you're so pleased you've haggled. So I think if you're worried about haggling, go with a friend and give each other a little bit of confidence and see if you can get some money off things because if you don't ask you don't get and usually most of the time they're they're happy to have a haggle or you do a bit of negotiation which can be fun as well as long as you do you know if you if you're nice about it when people are ruder they tend not to get as much money off so yes just be nice and haggle away when I have sold before I love I love it when people haggle um yeah it's just part part of car boot sales I think at car boot sales I buy a lot of unwanted gifts and they're normally really cheap if the person with the unwanted gifts haven't hasn't bought them they don't really mind how much they go for I think there must be unwanted gifts stuff like this I find it really hard not to buy and I've, I've got to stop really because how many things can you <laughs> you know how many gift sets do you need so I think well mind you the car boot sales I've only got a few more months I think they stop kind of end of October or if the weather's good they carry on for a bit so there's not many more so maybe I should I'll keep buying them maybe until until the weather gets a bit more rubbish but that was only a pound which is such good value and you get a little value or did I say that funny but you get a little tin as well and this one is Bayless and Harding Skin Spa Herbal Therapy so I've got a body cleanser oh Mulberry Hollyhock and Thyme that sounds nice doesn't it and then this one is a rich intensive body cream lotion and this one is an intent what does that say oh steam cream wash what a steam cream wash what does that even mean I don't know but I'll try it so yeah that was a pound it's just so good for a pound, so that's why I find it really hard not to just get the things like that because it's just, you know, they're such nice products and they're all brand new. There's a lot of gifts and things. You can just re-gift them if you wanted to. You could, um, you know, give them to friends and stuff. I, I would feel a little bit bad, so I'd have to tell them if it was a re-gifting thing, I'd just say, oh, I picked that up for a quid. Um, but you could you just keep quiet and, um, you know, give them that kind of thing. You, they wouldn't know unless you're on YouTube showing it, um, you know, re-gift away if you want to. This is a little memo pad and I feel like I should have given them to Mr. Carrington but I didn't realise that they were in my um, car boot sale bag. He would have liked them. I gave him some gifts and they were all kind of like plant related. Um, right, what's this? This just says Flutter Memo Block. I don't know where it's from. Where are you from? Probably Asda or something, isn't it? I don't know. Something like that. And it's just a little, yeah, memo block with flamingos on the top. And then, um, cactus. Cacti on the side. And that was 50p. And from the same lady, I found a little Zoella fizz bar for 20p. Um, so that's just a chuck in your bath, isn't it? Is that just for one bath? Yeah. So I need a bath. Um, I had a shower today, but I might have a nice relaxing bath maybe tomorrow evening and chuck that in there but very good for 20p I love like all the Zoella patterns and stuff it's really pretty I, I wouldn't I don't really want to spend full price on the items but I do like them when I find them second hand a little hairbrush for 50p um it says they bought it for two pounds it's from you look um and it's a tangle teaser one just a handy little size isn't it you can just chuck that in a in your bag it looks like a little funny hedgehog hello i'm a hedgehog no i'm not i'm a hairbrush um so that's quite a nice hairbrush and it's brand new so i won't get anyone's hair bogies on my hair because it's new and i like it very much i couldn't resist these candles and um, they were 50p for the two and just a really nice kind of brown coppery color and when they're lit obviously the bit shines through doesn't it this um is it called mercury or something glass I don't know but it looks really pretty it kind of yeah it glows through so 50p for these I was quite lucky with the clothes this time I didn't find loads of dresses which I normally do but I'm trying to find like autumny things and items for winter so that's what I was looking for and I did really well I found this jumper for 50p um I think it's from next origin it's like a polo neck yeah that's what it's called isn't it where are you from yeah next 
um, and it's really I love these colors it's really cozy it's got it's got no it hasn't got glitter in it's just got some gray like flecks in and I just love these colors it's really nice and cozy and the sleeves uh, like that so it just feels you know and it goes over your hand so it feels ultra cozy and I really want to find like a pinafore dress thing like a dungaree dress but a black version of that so I can wear this with them for winter but I haven't found I got one from Asda the other day I ordered it online but it didn't fit so I've taken that back so I'm still searching if you know of like you know a pinafore type dress that kind of thing but not a tight one just like a nice flattering one I think they've got some in Primark I might have to go and have a look there because um yeah, I've been looking in the charity shops and they, they haven't got one. But if you've got a lovely pinafore dress that's flattering, then um, write it down below where I can find one of those from. Um, the only place I can think of is um, Primark because the other one didn't fit me. Anyway, back to this. So yeah, stripy, lovely jumper. And um, I took a picture of this uh, on me for Instagram the other day and I'll upload that soon because it's really nice on. Um, so that was 50p. Um, and then some jeans from Dorothy Perkins. These are just plain and simple jeans. I'm not going to try these on. Um, because I haven't got time and I just want to get this video on for this evening. I'm recording this today. It's a uh, one o'clock Wednesday, the 19th of September. So I just wanted to put this on for the evening. So, but I will wear them um, during vlogs and stuff. And I'll say, oh, these are my pound jeans or 50p jeans. But these ones were one pound. Um, they're just quite nice, like skinny jegginsy jeans. And then I got a darker color. Are these jegginy ones as well? Dorothy Perkins, were they Dorothy Perkins? I've gone Dorothy Perkins mad. Um, these were also a pound. Um, quite like this colour. So like a a darker, a darker denim. Um, and they're have I tried these? I don't even think I've tried them on yet. I think I've just put them in a stash and then put them away. Um, so I will try them on. Hopefully they will um all fit me. If not, I'll just I'll take them to the charity shops and they can sell them on. Right. Okay. So my last item is gorgeous. I was really happy to find it. And um, I'll show you it first, rather than like keeping you guessing. It's this lovely um, jacket or coat. It's red herring. And this is perfect for autumn and winter, isn't it? Just love the colour. Oh, just give me a cuddle. I love you. Just really cosy. And the lady, um, how much? Did, oh, she wanted five pounds. And I just went, oh, and I was just looking at it. And she said, oh, um, I wanted five pounds, but you can have it for four. And I thought, oh, go on then. And that, that is quite a lot of money at a car boot sale, but in real life, that's nothing, isn't it, for one of it? And it's wool as well, so, um, and it feels really nice, and I've tried this on. It's probably a tiniest bit too big, but that's okay, because I can just put loads of warm jumpers underneath, and it's got pockets. I love a pocket, and it's got pockets, and it's got a little hood too, so that's lovely. So I will wear that very soon, and um, when it gets a bit colder. And I love these colours together. This jumper with the darker jeans... And this jacket will look so nice. Yeah, I love that. I love the colours. And they're sort of exactly what I was looking for. More autumn-y, wintry clothes that I can wear when it gets a little bit colder. So that's everything. That is my car boot sale haul. If you haven't been to a car boot sale yet, um, there's a few more weeks that they're open for. But honestly, if you want to go, just go. And if you want to go with a friend as well, to give you a bit more confidence when you're asking about prices. I suppose at the start, maybe it can be a bit intimidating if you, you know, you're rooting around people's things. It can feel a bit personal. But just once you get over that, it's so much fun. And they're there to get rid of stuff. And you're there to find treasures. So honestly, they're so good. So try and get to one before um, they finish. I think a lot of them end kind of finish end of October um, and some carry on and then you have indoor car boot sales we have them here in Norfolk and then next year um, they probably start up around March time so I just love them so thank you for watching this video let me know if you enjoyed it there's a couple of questions I've asked along the way I've forgotten now but um, yeah answer them if you can and let me know what your favorite item was I love finding out which items people like the best. Um, so if it was the jacket, the jeans, the cap Kirsten thing, the candles, um, I don't know, whatever it was, it could have been the coat. Let me know what your best buy would have been. Um, and if you know any prices, the full price um, of any of these items, uh, yeah, you can let me know as well. And I've got uh, more videos to come. I've got Poundland for Friday, and then I've got the weekend vlog for Monday. And then I've got to do a charity shop haul, which I will do. I've got to do a makeup, organization declutter and a giveaway so i promised to do that and then this time next week i will have the car boot sale haul the items i found with mr carrington on sunday when we went to the um epsom hook arena car boot sale and that was just 
brilliant it was massive and we had so much fun but yeah if you want to watch that video i've linked it below you can see us going around shopping and messing about and stuff but yeah we had such a good time so thanks for watching the video and i will speak to you on friday for a poundland video and there'll be loads more for hopefully i'll get one in for the weekend i'll try and get either the charity shop haul or the makeup one on for the weekend so thanks a lot and i'll speak to you soon bye